This is going to be a video on the gas masks in Metro 2033, or at least Metro 2033 Redux. I think it might change them a little bit in places, but I didn't really want to play through the game twice to see if the masks were different. So on the posters for the Metro Redux games, on the left there's an S10 with what looks like a PMK filter on it, and on the right there is a PMK1. I imagine it's a PMK1 because it doesn't seem to have the second filter intake port on it that the PMK2 is meant to have. Now when I was playing Redux I didn't see any of these in the game but at least in the original Metro 2033 there is a British civilian duty respirator also known as the Warden's Gas Mask but you'll notice it's missing the exhale valve so it wouldn't actually work at all and the person wearing it would inhale through the exhale valve and die in the atmosphere but oh wow it's just a game. Now this is the most common mask you'll see in the entire game, I believe it's called the Ranger Mask, although it might have a different name, and it visually appears to be a Czech M10 with the XL valves and intake valves for the cheek filters, however weirdly in the game it's actually built into a helmet with a panoramic lens, so characters can tilt them up if they don't want the mask on. Now in reality this wouldn't work with an airtight seal, some people wear masks under it and sometimes the game glitches where they're wearing the mask with filters through the actual other mask. Now the mask the character wears, and it also appears to be a very other common mask in the game, is the Soviet PPM-88, also known as the GP-9. Again it seems to glitch with some character models where it phases through parts of their clothing, but otherwise seems to be modelled quite realistically. Now I can't get a very good view of this mask, but I, I believe it's a French LMB respirator with the weird filter that sits behind the head. Some enemies have this mask on, I have no idea what it's meant to be, but it reminds me a little bit of Soviet PDF children's masks. Very infrequently you'll see guys who are dead wearing the IDA-59 rebreather from the Soviet Union with its bright orange pouches. This piece of graffiti here could be a GP5 gas mask, but it's hard to tell from the little detail. This fourth wall breaking poster appears to have a Polish MP6 gas mask on it, but I can't be certain of that because it's hard to make out details. And the copies of the book found in the game seem to have the 3M6000 full face respirator on the covers. Well I hope you enjoyed the video, I'm sorry I couldn't actually include photos of the real masks, you can find them on Google quite easily, but I didn't want to get a copyright strike for the ones I didn't own. Now, um, as I've said before, Metro isn't that realistic when it comes to gas masks, filters not being in the right place and things like that, as well as the filters expiring really quickly. I don't really care because it's a game as said, but some people do seem to get very funny when I criticise it for that, but in no way are the masks realistic in this game for the most part, other than the GP9, and maybe some of the rebreathers, but, you know, masks missing valves and things like that, and the filters running out in a couple of minutes isn't realistic in a scenario like this, but whatever, it's just a game. As said, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you've got any other games that you want me to have a look and see if I can identify the masks in it, I'd be happy to do that at some point if I can actually get hold of the games fairly cheaply.